Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another BBTS unboxing video for you guys. Uh, today is Wednesday, December 18th, right? Yeah, so hope you guys are having a good day. Uh, I wanted to get into a couple of things before I got into this unboxing video. Uh, first off, uh, Shardimus Prime t-shirts, which I have uh, links for in the description below. I actually like this shirt a whole lot more than I originally said. I'm not making this whole video about selling shirts or anything, but I'm just saying that when I first talked about this, I was like, oh, I don't really like it so much. But now I've had it for like a month or so, and I actually do like this shirt. It's just a little askew, but I kind of like that about it. It also says Shardimus Prime in red right over there, and I think that's pretty neat too. So if you're interested, it'll help out the channel, and maybe you could give it as a Christmas gift to somebody and whatnot. You know, they're available uh, in the whole little scroll thingy down below. Another thing that I wanted to talk about was something that was just incredibly awesome in my little world, my little universe. My friend Chu sent me a picture of somebody swapping. Now, uh, if you're not familiar with swapping, it's a very common thing that's been going on for a very long time. Ah, that's what fell. I heard a loud noise last night and just realized what fell. Anyway, um, <laughs> there was a big time badass Spider-Man at Ross with a big time letdown Spider-Man in it. And I thought this was hilarious. He just took the picture. He wasn't going to buy it. And he just sent me the picture. And I was like, I need that. I need that figure. I know it's ridiculous. But we met up over at the Ross in Pacifica. And I bought it off of him. And this is the stupidest, awesomest thing ever. This is a real life Marvel Legends big time letdown Spider-Man. I mean, you really couldn't be more of a letdown than to be in the badass packaging and be a freaking letdown Spider-Man. <laughs> I thought that was so awesome. And on top of it, it has this Ross sticker for $12.99. Now, I this big time letdown Spider-Man figure is actually worth closer to $30 online. So that was just so dumb. I thought, I mean, you might as well just sell it on eBay, man. And they don't sell big time badass at Ross. This dude probably found another Marvel Legend for clearance, likely the, you know, the Walmart exclusive Black Panther, and probably just ripped the sticker off of that, slapped it on this, and then put big time letdown, and then returned it. I just find that too freaking funny. That is... <sighs> And the accessories are not even... Like, what the hell is this thing right here? That's like some black wire cable tie thing. That's totally ridiculous. Uh, you have a fist and uh, and then like a couple of, you know, a uh, cu couple of like, you know, rock, uh, you know, devil horn hands in there. And then an actual whipping hand. I mean, interchangeable hands in here that don't even go with the figure. Doesn't even have the... Like, not one of these accessories is actually from... The big time badass. Uh, this is a this right here is uh, like a superior Spidey whipping hand. So I thought that was just too freaking funny. I'm gonna hang it up, put it right next to the actual real big time badass Spider Man, and that is a real big time letdown Spider Man. I am just so stoked that that exists. What's also kind of funny to me about that whole thing is that whoever did that is a genuine fan of the big time Spider-Man suit. I mean, you don't do that unless you're stoked that you got the new upgraded version and you're looking at the big time letdown and you return it. I mean, whoever did that obviously either A, doesn't know about my meme with the big time letdown or B, doesn't know anything about me. You know what I mean? At all. Like that has no, or just not a fan. Just like, it, it's just has nothing to do about me with that person. They didn't care anything about the big time letdown spider-man series i've created at all or else they would have probably kept it right i mean those of you who have a big time letdown and then bought a big time badass you're keeping your letdown right it's a letdown you got to keep the big time letdown all right anyway maybe you got rid of it too maybe they were a shardimus prime viewer and they didn't and they just like no, no, no screw that but anyway on to the big old bbts unboxing from biggity big bad toy store try to get your action figures you know where to go you're gonna go to bigbadtoystore.com um, I was gonna say Marvel Legends for some reason. That's not that's not a store. All right, let's get to it and crack this thing open. So what do we've got right over here? Thank you, Big Bad Toy Store, Big Bad Toy Store, for sponsoring this YouTube channel. It has been a long day. Um, well, this is actually being shot Tuesday night, uh, but today I did spend um, my 
uh, most of the day this Tuesday. All right. So this stuff I bought, um, and this is, um, um, oh, God. Oh, yes, yes, yes! <laughs> Transformers Masterpiece Jazz. Yeah, I love my Masterpiece figures. Ooh, someone just flushed a toilet. Yeah, there you go. That looks so cool. You can see Spike running right down there with the cube. Oh, man, it feels so bad. But, man, yes, Masterpiece Jazz. Very happy with that. I will be reviewing that one. I don't know if I'll be reviewing this one or not, but I had to pick it up. Shout out to Century Productions. He's the one who really sold me on this because he picked it up over at San Diego Comic-Con this year. And you can see we have the Storm Collectibles. Uh, excuse me, Scorpion. Second version, I believe, right? Second version. And I'm stoked about this, too, because I got that Sub-Zero pre-ordered. So I had to pre-order that Sub-Zero. And then I was like, all right, time to pull the trigger on that Scorpion. So that's it, you guys. I have nothing new here. I hope you enjoy. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. There's something else right here. <laughs> Almost forgot. Hold on a second. Got all excited about that real life big time letdown Spider Man. Forgot to have this right here. I need to open. Sorry. All right, here you go. So, yeah, today was exhausting because we had uh, the babies taking pictures with Santa Claus. And, you know, it's my first. I was going to stay home and work on videos and stuff. And I was like, you know what? This is the first time Mila is going to see Santa Claus, I gotta be there. Like, for the first, uh, I gotta be there for those kids, you know, I gotta be there with the kids anyway. Oh, yeah. Look at that genius face right there, yes. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So, first, gotta show off. I got my studio selections. Oh, yes, it looks dope, awesome. Studio Series Soundwave from Dark of the Moon. Had to pick this up. It looks glorious. Very happy with this already. I'm looking at it and I'm like, yes. Mm -hmm. I love the Human Alliance version that I have. Thank you, Alfonso. And that looks incredible as well. Oh, yeah. That's the smell. Yeah. Marvel Legends. Here we go, baby. Brand new Marvel Legends. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of you guys have been waiting for me to review these, and it's, you know, it takes me, it takes, you know, like I mentioned before, you know, shipping didn't even take that long, right? It wasn't too bad. So, um, these arrived uh, on a Tuesday, even though this video is being posted on a Wednesday. Uh, my uh, pain apps are a little uh, suspect, so we'll get into that more when I do the review, but here we have Mr. Fantastic. I am going to pair these reviews. So, Mr. Fantastic and Wonder Woman here, which looks freaking gorgeous, by the way. Ooh, ooh, yes, better keep those long fingers closer, Mr. Fantastic, because that's a beautiful Wonder Woman. The infrant, don't tell her little one. No, but that looks gorgeous. So, Mr. Fantastic and Invisible Woman, those are going together in one review, and then this looks pretty sweet. All right, sorry, I'm giving myself a little you know look around here before I show it off to you guys we have the new human torch not looking bad I like having this version around this is cool even though this color scheme yeah with the black and the uh, with the black and blue not my favorite design not bad either definitely not my least favorite by the way if you're wondering what happened to my finger uh, this is one of the more deep stabbings I've had you know this one was really bad. It cut all the way through, and you could see. Well, anyway, the uh, this one right here just went real. I went to my drawer and went to grab something, and my X-Acto knife had moved from the spot where it's supposed to. So I just shunked my middle finger right in. Like I could feel that much of the blade go. Whoop. I was like, oh! And then I run running inside the house, and I was like, ooh! And then Charlotte the one's like, shh! Oh my God! Cut your bleeding! And then she didn't even bother. And then I came. I needed her help to get a bandaid open because there's blood everywhere. And it was a little like, nasty. But anyway, oh my goodness, look at that. Not looking too bad at all. Hasbro, you guys are doing good things, man. I really think they're doing really good things. Really good things. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Really good things right there. Great looking thing already. I will pair this review up with the Johnny Storm. And then we have. She's not She-Hulk, but she's a He-Hulk, so we'll just call it Hulk. Hulk! 
not She-Hulk, but Hulk. So, yeah, it's Jennifer Walters struggles to control her anger and keep the powerful Hulk at bay. All right, I don't know anything about this storyline. Oh, I know a little bit, but I mean, I'm so far behind in my comics. God, these accessories for the Super Scroll just look freaking amazing. And she comes with interchangeable hands. What's really a big bummer for me, though, dude, is that I feel like Hasbro never delivered on a really good She-Hulk. And I love She-Hulk. And now we have that not he hulk i guess where are we? not he hulk right not he hulk hulk not the he hulk and not a she hulk not he hulk there you go and then <laughs> we have the brand new doctor doom sorry you're just looking at the top of my head but dude i gotta take a gander i got a gander this is like the one so this will be reviewed separately as well my goodness my goodness, this is amazing. So, very cool, man. I am excited for this stuff. Man, a lot of cool figures. I can't wait to start reviewing these. Expect reviews very soon. I also have the NECA Toys Bebop and Rocksteady that I'll be reviewing very soon as well. I also have the Mandalorian uh, Heavy Infantry, Mandalorian, and IG-11, which I'm going to do in one video. And uh, I have a giveaway video. Yes! In this time, right now, with all the kuppas and the bullshit, uh, we're doing a giveaway. So I thought it'd be a good time to show gratitude to those that are sticking through with me here on the channel during all the bullshit. You know, so I really appreciate it, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button for video reviews showing up in your subscription feed. Uh, you do need to hit that subscribe button and you do need to hit that notification bell. And if nothing still shows up, then you gotta just visit this YouTube channel. And I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will catch you later. Peace.